Should you be concerned about using AI tools like ChatGPT or Google Bard to write blog posts and articles for your website? And if you do it, are you suddenly going to get de-indexed and lose all of that valuable website traffic? That's a question I was wondering. And I was pleased to read on Google Search Central that appropriate, and appropriate being a keyword, use of AI or automation is not against their guidelines. This means that you can use AI tools to create some content once you're not trying to manipulate search engine ranking results. In other words, Google wants you to write for humans. And that's also probably because Google is starting to roll out AI in its real-time search results, much like Microsoft are doing with Bing and ChatGPT. The Google bot also wants you to demonstrate that you're creating original, high-quality, people-first content. The content that you're writing or publishing should demonstrate your earned expertise, authority, and trust. So in other words, it's not as simple as firing up ChatGPT, writing an article, and pressing send, submit, or publish. Let's say I was using ChatGPT to write an article about how to become an author. Well, if I wanted to demonstrate some expertise, I could perhaps refer to my writing process for one of my books. So do consider how you can demonstrate or leverage your personal experience when you're using these AI tools. If you're gonna go ahead and write an article with an AI tool like ChatGPT or Google Bard, there are dozens of different AI con detectors that you can use before you publish that article on your site. I've tested many of them and I'm gonna walk through seven of the best so you can understand exactly how they work. Let's say I'm running a food and drinks website and I've written an article about the best coffee pods. My article is starting to rank, so I want to improve it by adding an FAQ to the article. Now normally writing answers to an FAQ is a little bit time consuming. Sure, I could ask somebody else to help, but isn't this something that an AI tool is good for? So I'm gonna use ChatGPT to ask and answer some of these questions and then see if I can add the content to my existing article. I'm also going to use a more advanced AI tool, which I recommend for writers. It's called Koala and I've reviewed it extensively on the channel. And I'm going to use this to generate an entire article that's 1,600 plus words long. It's all about Stephen King's net worth. And I'm going to see if this article is ready to publish on my site or if I should consider editing it a little bit more before I press publish. I found seven different tools which I can use to check content for AI. First one is GPT-0. It's free to use and if you want to check more than 5,000 characters, which isn't very long, you will need to take out a premium subscription, which is currently $20 per month. Now you just simply go onto the website and put your text into the dialog box and then you select what tool you use to generate the text in question. So for GPT-0 and for the other six tools that I tested, I asked ChatGPT, can you freeze coffee pods? And I pasted the answer in to them. So according to GPT-0, this has a moderate likelihood of being written by AI. GPT-0 scores an article based on the perplexity and burstiness of the text in question. What? Well, perplexity basically describes the randomness of the text. So when you and I are writing a sentence, we tend to sometimes pick random words and phrases. Whereas a machine like ChatGPT or some other AI tool will use algorithms and machine learning to figure out what sentences and phrases to write next. So it doesn't tend to be as random. Burstiness basically describes whether you're using longer or shorter sentences in conjunction with each other. Again, it's something that a more creative writer would do, whereas a machine is less likely to do. Next up, I use one of my favorite AI detection tools. It's called originality.ai, and you will need to take out a premium subscription. So I pasted it in my text, and it only took a few seconds to scan it. And basically it said 96% of the text was written by artificial intelligence and it even highlighted the sections that it feels were written by AI. Of course, 100% was written by AI. Plagiarismcheck.org is one of my favorite plagiarism detectors, and I have another video on the channel where I profile it in detail. Well, the team behind it has rolled out an AI detection tool, and it's free to use. You don't even need to set up an account. So simply visit plagiarismcheck.org and look for their AI plagiarism checker. So when I pasted in my text, it highlighted 32% of the text that was likely written by artificial intelligence, and 7.75% of the text that was highly likely to be written by AI. So I like that it was free and quick to use, but perhaps not as accurate as some of the other tools in this roundup. Zaplin is an AI con detector, which was developed by researchers from Berkeley, Stanford, and Google. It's pretty easy to use and it's free. 
So you can visit the sapling.ai website, look for their content or AI cont detector, paste in your text and it'll scan it instantaneously. I was pleased to see that it flagged 100% of my content was written by AI. And I could even copy the results and share it with another writer if I felt like they were charging me for content that they'd written with artificial intelligence. I was a little struck that it flagged the content as 100% fake. That's because the answers that ChatGPT produced in this case were actually factually correct. However, they were written of course with AI. And there is a distinction between something being fake and incorrect versus something being written by an artificial intelligence tool. The team at Writer have built a grammar checker which tried to compete with Grammarly. And recently they pivoted towards creating AI tools for businesses and enterprises. Now you can actually try the AI detection tool that Writer has built for free. So I took my text, pasted it into writer.com and it scanned almost instantaneously. Unfortunately, the results weren't very good. According to the Writer AI content detector, this content was 100% human generated. Clearly, it was not. CopyLeaks is another popular AI content detection tool, and it's been praised by reviewers online. It's free to use and to try. So you can simply create your account and then paste in some sample text. Once you paste it in your text and click check, it will give you a probability score for how much of the content was written by AI. And in this case, it said 71% probability that my FAQ was generated with an artificial intelligence tool. So I liked that it was quick and easy to use. Next up, I took that article that I generated with Koala about Stephen King's net worth. It's a relatively long article, clocking in at 1,600 plus words long. So I took the article, plugged it into GPT-0, and it flagged that some parts of the article were written by artificial intelligence. And I even went ahead and highlighted the sections that I should consider editing. Now actually the entire article was written by AI, but Koala is quite a good tool, so it may have circumvented some of these AI detection tools. However, when I plugged the same article into originality.ai, it flagged that 100% of the content was written by artificial intelligence. Again, highlighting sections that I could rewrite or revise. When I put it into Sapling, it flagged the content as 99.8% fake. Now I did fact check the article and the content isn't actually fake, so I would take issue with this. However, it was encouraging to see that it had flagged the content as being written by AI. When I put it into copy leaks, it also flagged it as written by AI, but perhaps the metrics were a little bit less insightful than some of the other tools that I featured. As useful as these AI detection tools are, there is a big caveat. So I took an extract from the US constitution and I plugged it into my favorite AI detection tool, originality.ai. And surprisingly, or perhaps unsurprisingly, it found that 33% of the constitution, or at least the section that I pasted in, was written by artificial intelligence. Now, unless there was some sort of time traveling GPT robot, clearly it wasn't written by AI. So you do need to take these scores with a little pinch of salt. So if you're going to use GPT or Bard or some other tool like Koala to write your articles and blog posts, consider how you can insert some personal impressions into the article in question and always fact check the results. Doing so will help you demonstrate the earned expertise, authority, and trust that Google is looking for. Oh, and if you do use an AI content detection tool and you're not quite happy with the score, investigate a little bit further before you start getting really alarmed. As you can see, many of these tools are brand new. Here's how I intend to use AI tools and content detection software as part of my writing and publishing workflow. So first up, I'm gonna use tools like ChatGPT or Google Bard or whatever the tool of the day is to figure out what types of topics and terms I should cover in my article. But I'll also spend a bit of time figuring out what users and readers are searching for. After all, there's no point writing or publishing an article about coffee pods or Stephen King's net worth if the article in question doesn't help readers. Then when I've written that first draft of the article, perhaps I'll use AI for some of that, I'll also insert some personal impressions, insights, and stories. And when I have a draft that I'm happy with and which I've run through a grammar checker, I'll paste the article into one of the AI content detectors that I've profiled in this video. Now my current favorite tool is originality.ai with the caveat that it's not 100% accurate. None of these tools are, but we can only expect them to improve over time. After all, this is a brand new area. And if you'd like to get more reviews of these AI tools or content detectors, or simply learn about using AI to write, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel.